In our solar system, Jupiter the largest and oldest of the eight planets. This mysterious planet has left wonders, that what could hidden inside of it. It is so big that 1300 planet Earths could fit inside of it. So what would happen if you jumped right into the planet? Because Jupiter doesn't have a surface, just a seemingly endless stretch of atmosphere. Its huge gravitational pull is also believed to have played an important role in protecting Earth from potentially deadly comets. This planet is mainly made up of hydrogen, helium, and other chemical compounds such as methane, ammonia and water that help to form its distinctive atmosphere. Since Galileo first turned his telescope on this gained gas planet and witnessed its magnificent swirling bands of clouds, scientists have been enthusiastic to find out what might be hiding inside of Jupiter. Recently science has developed better ways of exploring the gas planets than just a telescope's. With the help of these technology collected data that has allowed scientists to study many aspects of this mysterious planet, including answering the question of what's hidden inside. So let's assume we somehow manage to demake spacesuit, which will survive during our traveling on the surface of the Jupiter, from the devastating environments that Jupiter has, its frigid and scorching temperatures deadly radiation lack of oxygen and its colossal pressures. To see what's hidden deep below Jupiter's enigmatic clouds. As you start falling into the Jupiter the high white ammonia clouds at nearly 180,000 km per hour into the atmospheres, because the gravity of the Jupiter is so strong. You would be descending a lot faster than, you'd fall from the top of Earth's atmosphere. Though you are surrounded by ammonia clouds the sun's lights would still be visible. But it wouldn't warm you, as it's incredibly cold at this altitude. Dropping to below minus 150 degrees Celsius. You would eventually reach the bottom of the ammonia clouds, feeling a pressure of one atmosphere, as you deep dive into the Jupiter. It's incredibly cold, at this altitude dropping to below minus 150 degrees Celsius, you would eventually reach the bottom of the ammonia clouds feeling a pressure of Jupiter's atmosphere. At this point the sun can still be seen, but its light is being filtered by the clouds above resembling an overcast day back on Earth. Now, get ready for the most epic whirlpool of your life. Jupiter's clouds create powerful winds, up to 300 miles per hour. You'd feel as if you were in one giant, colorful tornado. That's because Jupiter is the fastest rotating planet in our solar system. One day on the planet is equal to 9.5 Earth hours. Let's go down about 150 kilometers more, enter these clouds the light from the sun would slowly diminish and the temperature would start to heat up due to the ever-increasing pressures around you. The further you descend the darker it will become until it is completely black. The only source of light you'll have will be from the lightning storms happening all around you. At this point, the temperature will start to increase, and it might even feel comfortable if it weren't for the immense physical pressure you'll be feeling. As you pass through this cloud stage the pressure would increase to a crushing 10 atmospheres and the temperature would have risen to 20 degrees Celsius. The pressure you'd experience is more than 1,000 times higher than on the surface of the Earth, the temperature would drastically increase to above 200 degrees Celsius. By now, you've been falling very very long time and, at this point all your communication device will go off since radio waves get absorbed this deep into the planet's atmosphere. After a very very long time of sinking you would start to notice the atmosphere becoming thicker and eventually you would stop. As your density equals out of the environment around you. But because your suit is extremely high tech, it allows you to sink further into the abyss, just to see what lies beneath after an extremely long wait. You'd have now sunk 13,000 miles into Jupiter and into the metallic region at 2 million atmospheres. At this stage the hydrogen has become so dense that it has become a type of liquid metal and this is what causes Jupiter's strong magnetic field the temperature would continue to increase, becoming hotter than the surface of the sun as the hydrogen metal around you glows white. Metallic hydrogen will begin to form, and you'll be surrounded by it. This relatively unknown substance can be a dense liquid that you won't be able to escape from. If you do manage to escape, you'd be falling through it for thousands of kilometers. Until you reach Jupiter's core, possibly a solid object. This would be the final stage of your journey you would be standing on a surface perhaps 10 times the mass of Earth and made of rock, exotic ices at a pressure of above 25 million atmospheres, even though you are standing on surface of the Jupiter now, but due to the immense pressure at this level in the planet. Regardless of what it is, if you somehow did manage to survive all this, you'd be stuck from all the atmospheric pressure. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already.
Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.